What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more competitive double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, I'm going to be rocking out with one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. We got ourselves a Baxcalibur team. This team is also very strong considering it has Chiyu and Fluttermane. Then the other three Pokemon are going to be Gyarados, Iron Hands, and Sableye. Like I said, this team is rather strong for the rank ladder if you know how to play it. So we're going to be showcasing it in today's video and looking to grab ourselves a winning record. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. But Baxcalibur is going to be the first Pokemon for today's team preview. It has Ice Shard for first turn priority, Glaive Rush for big time stab damage. It also has Earthquake and Terra Blast for its moveset. Really do like it with this Assault Vest. I think this Pokemon can be very, very strong on this team. We got Chiyu in our second slot, and this Chiyu has a Choice Scarf as his item, and I absolutely love Chiyu with a Choice Scarf. Makes it outspeed pretty much most Pokemon out on the field, and he can do some crazy damage considering he drops special defense of all Pokemon on the field. He has Lava Plume, Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, and Overheat for its four moves. We got Iron Hands in our third slot, and in the previous Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video, Iron Hands showed out. It was an absolute beast. This one has Quirk Drive to Safety Goggles, and then it's all about just punching. It has Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Detect with that Fire Tower type. So, really liking this Pokemon. If we Terrastalize, we have three stab moves with it. Gyarados is going to be in our fourth slot. Gyarados, again, has been one of those Pokemon that has been seeing, been seeing more and more of on the rank ladder. Like he's starting to, 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 to come, come into the meta, but not really, right? It's got Waterfall, Thunder Wave, Taunt, and Protect, which I think is a phenomenal moveset for him. Intimidate the lower attack, and then Leftovers as its item. We have Fluttermane in our fifth slot to pair up with that Chiyu. It's got Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy. Dazzling Gleam, Hex, Protect, and Thunderbolt. Sableye is going to be our final Pokemon, and I absolutely love Sableye for support Pokemon. One, it can burn Pokemon. Two, it can control weather. We got Sunny Day, we got will o -Wisp, does both those. Then we got Quash and Skill Swap, so we can actually pass off skills, all that good stuff, and try to get things rolling and try to shake things up with Sableye. So, Sableye is definitely one of those situational support Pokemon, but I really do like him when he's played correctly. But guys, there's the team. If you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Bax Caliber and Sableye Series 3 team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Flutter main team with Murkrow, Great Tusk, Chiyu, and Mousehold. And Golden Go. Did not see that little that little Pokemon down there. But they have Mousehold without Annihilate, so I'm happy with that. I hate going up against Annihilate, it's just so strong. So Annihilate Mousehold, we don't got to worry about it in match number one. But how should we play this one, and who should we lead here? I think they could definitely lead like Pokemon like Chiyu and potentially Fluttermane, right? Those are definitely some very, very good options for him. So I might just go in with my Chiyu and Fluttermane. I mean, that's not bad. They have a few physical attackers, but they're mainly special attacking. They could set up a Tailwind. Mm. That is an option for it. They could definitely set up a Tailwind. But could we do anything to kind of control Tailwind? They do got a skill swap, but I really don't want to... I really don't want to do that. Hmm. I could go Sableye Fluttermane. And always swap in the Chiyu if need be. But the problem here is going to be Murkrow. Like, Murkrow is a, is a problem. It's a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. So, you know what? I'm going to end up going Sableye for the lead here. I'm also going to go maybe Iron Hands for the lead. No, we're going to go Fluttermane, and then Chiyu, and then I think Bash Caliber. I was going to bring Iron Hands, but I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like Murkrow is going to be tough because he pretty much guarantees speed control, right? We really have no way of stopping this. So from here, we're just going to have to play up against it. That is my play. I wish I had, like, tricked him or something. I'll be popping it right now. But let's see who they end up leading. Hopefully, Murkrow just doesn't come out here. It'd be awesome. It'd be huge. I wish we did that fake out on the save line here as well. But is it going to be Murkrow? Probably, right? Yeah, Murkrow and Golden. And, ooh, does me dirty. That does me a little dirty, but we'll deal with it. Um, huh. If I had to guess, he's just going to terrestrialize his, uh, his Golden Go, right? He 100% is going to terrestrialize Golden Go. I could prankster it. Prankster quash this thing, because after Tailwind, he probably outspeeds. And then, what's your terror type? It's Fairy, which, it sucks, man. Very sucks. It sucks up against this thing, so I might just want to go into a Pokemon like you, right? I mean, I could just protect you and just see what he wants to do, but I'm thinking of just swapping my boy here into Chiyu and just protecting Fluttermane. I think that's got to be my play. I think that has to be my play. 
Because I just see a Tailwind, probably Terrestrialization coming out from Golden Go and him dropping to make it rain. So if I can protect and be able to eat up with my uh, Chiyu, I think we could really get cooking here. But I do have the Choice Scarf on that Pokemon, which is really good. So he does have Terrestrialize. We could have just ripped into Golden Go if we wanted to. Unless that thing's protecting as well. And he tries to quash me. Okay, so that's his play. He wanted to quash and go into that instead of just Tailwind. I mean, Tailwind was 100% to play. I'm surprised he didn't do that. So, now we're sitting here. Uh, he can't quash my... He cannot quash my Chi, which is good. We're Dark type. So, from here, I'm just going to pop a nice little Heat Wave. Yeah, I'm going to choice into Heat Wave. And I think I'm just going to lean across the board. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm cool with that. So Golden Go ends up protecting. I'm fine with that. We should be able to get rid of Mercury. He's probably tailwinding. I would think he is, right? And now he's going to haze. We're just going to get his attack back, but we take out Mercury if we land this Heat Wave. But I know Dazzling Gleam is going to land onto it. I got no no, no problem with Dazzling Gleam landing. No problem with Gleam landing. Gleam might KO by itself. It does not, but I just need Heat Wave to land. That's all I need. That's all I need. Then we could be sitting in a decent spot. It does land. That's huge because for some reason they didn't want to pop a tailwind. We'll take that all day. I'll take that all day long. All day long I'll take that. So no tailwind comes out from them. It's fine by me, baby. It's fine by me. So we still have Sableye in the back end. He can do his thing. Um, he's going to bring out the Great Tusk here. Terra might come out here, but I'm just going to straight up Heat Wave again. And Gleam? Or do I like Hex? I could just protect you. And see what they want to do. I mean, Fluttermane is going to be great later because I am. Well, what am I boosting? Special attack or speed? Let's see. Let's see what my highest stat is. I ain't boosting speed, so I'm, I'm going to be able to outspeed. Uh, I might just protect Fluttermane, to be honest. Heat Wave's going to get some work done. Um, I want to Gleam just in case. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to Gleam just in case. I'm just going to Gleam. I'm just going to double down here. He's going to withdraw the Golden Go. I'm not too worried about the Golden Go. Especially with my back end Pokemon. I don't mind him too much. And he's going to go into Fluttermane. Now, this could be a really good turn for us. This could be a really good turn. Maybe we should we should have Terrasalized, but he's going to end the Terrasalize the Great Tusk into what typing? Probably Fire, right? Steel. I kind of like that. <laughs> I got a Fire Pokemon on the field. He might not want to Terrasalize into Steel. The so Gleam's going to fly here. Should do some nice damage to Fluttermane. It does. And Heat Wave might be able to get you out. Hold up. What do you outspeed in my... That's a, that, that must be a choice. That's a choice scarf. Uh, that's a choice scarf elephant right there. Because he's outspeeding my choice scarf fish. But Heat Wave comes in here, picks up a double kill, and this match is locked. Lock it down. Great swaps from us. And I think our opponent really lost the match for himself, right? By not setting up Tailwind. I think setting up Tailwind would have been huge because if Golden Go was in that Tailwind, he could outspeed my Fluttermane. He could have taken it out. We would have been sitting in a tough spot. But I'm going to bring back Calibur in the back end. My fish outspeeds the uh, Golden Go. I can just Heat Wave it. Game, set, match. We didn't even need to use our Terrasalization, which is awesome. Which is awesome. So strong start for us. So I'm going to Heat Wave. I am just going to go into an EQ if I can because that'd be pretty cool. Actually, probably not. Let's just roll into an Ice Shard. And our opponent doesn't cancel. Simply does not. So we do like five damage with Bex Caliber, and Heat Wave is going to fly. And there it is. Game, set, match. Match number one goes to your boy. Let's hop into our second match. Let's go back to back. Second match on its way. We started off hot with a 1 0 record. Let's go 2 0 here. Going up against a Meet Alskarada Series 3 team. Pretty cool. They also have Garchomp and Titar. So weather is going to be a problem. We could bring Sableye in there to Sunny Day. That could be good. They also have. Uh, what is that? Corviknight and Ting Lu and Golden Go. So Chi is going to be solid besides when Ting Lu's on the field. That makes me want to bring back Calibur. But I feel like from here, Sableye could definitely be a good lead. So I'm going to go Sableye and I think I'm going to go Chi Yu because I can always set Sunny Day and kind of just get ripping. So I'm going to go in both of them. I am going to bring back Calibur in the back end because I really like its first turn priority. And plus, its moves are pretty solid. And then Fluttermane in the back end is great. Especially up against Corviknight. We do have Thunderbolt to deal with it a little bit. But I like it. I like this team. I really do like this matchup for us. I just think Fluttermane is going to be super effective onto, onto, oh wow, five. It actually, all of its, if we're counting all of its moves, it's super effective on a Miascarada, Garchomp, Titar, and Ting Lu from its fairy moves. Ghost moves cover the Golden Go, and Thunderbolt covers the Corviknight. So that's ridiculous. The whole team Fluttermane can get after. That is huge. That is huge. She is also pretty strong here. 
with just its fire moves can absolutely rip into a few of these guys and if i could pop a sunny day with that it'd be great and then again bax caliber i really like bax caliber the ice sharp first turn priority is just gonna be big time especially if we get somebody low hp and we really need a first turn priority shot ice shark come out there really rip into them and uh help us out in the back end so i'm kind of hoping we can just get things started here and go 2-0 that'd be big time that would be big time so let's see who they end up leading I think it's going to be T-Tar Garchomp. That's exactly why I let Sableye. It's going to be Golden Go and Corvo. Two Steel-type Pokemon? Say less. Say less. Say less. This is just Sunny Day Heat Wave, right? This is just Sunny Day. Send the heat on over, right? All day. Do I, do I have Terra-type? I do have Terra Ghost. Do I want a Terra Ghost? Not really, right? Not really. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to waste my Terra. I do not want to waste my terror, so we'll see what they want to do here. One of them is probably going to Rasalize. One might protect, one might swap. If they both stay in there, good for good for me, I guess. <laughs> but I don't really see it happening. That's huge that they led two seal types with my Chi out on the field. Love it. Love it. And Corbinite's more of a defensive bulk than anything, so having a special attacker out here is, is big. There's the withdrawal on the Corbin Knight. Who are you going to throw out here? Cheetar, maybe? Let me Ting Lu. It's not a bad swap. I just don't want a bad swap. And are you going to also swap Golden Go, or are you going to Terrasalize it? Terrasalize it is. So Terra comes out here. And what typing are you? What typing are you? Water. Wow. Perfect typing. Hopefully it's not Rocket Terra Blast. Let me get off some damage here. But Sunny Day's going to come out here. If you are rocking Terra Blast, we might be able to eat it up. The sunny day comes out here. I think I'm going to burn the Ting Lu after this with a nice Will-O-Wisp. We are choosing the Heat Wave, which kind of sucks, so I might swap my, uh... I might swap my boy, but he ends up going for a Make It Rain. We're able to soak that with Chiyu. Sableye eats up a little bit. And from here, I think we just burn the Ting Lu. I think burning the Ting Lu is going to be big for us. I might even Terrasalize the Chiyu. But I think they're going into a Ground-type move, right? It's definitely a possibility. But yeah, Willow is gonna be my player. I wish I could protect, but again, ground type move I think is coming out here. So do I just terrestrialize you? I think I swap you. I mean, make it rain is a little bit of a problem. A ground move is a little bit of a problem, but I would rather have Chiu in the back end with that Chewy Scarf than uh than Baxcalibur. So I'm gonna swap into Baxcalibur. I'm gonna look to land this burn. But I don't just wanna be throwing uh I don't want to really just be throwing uh, heat waves out there. And of course my Will-O-Wisp missed. That kind of hurts. Oh my god, he's dark type, so it doesn't affect him. That's so lame. That is so lame. I'm going to take some nice damage. I do have the Soul best for that Pokemon, so... Ah, Prankster hurts the Soul sometimes, especially with all these dark types out here. That's why you're not seeing too many Prankster Pokemon. But Sonic Catch, I'm also going to fly. That might KO me. It does not. Cool. So... Okay, we are sitting here, and I think we just bring out you, and we terrestrialize you in a straight fairy. We just start sending attacks, right? I might double down the Ting Lu here. I might just double down the Ting Lu. But I think you should be able to eat up whatever shot that Golden Go has to offer. So I don't mind terrestrializing fully into this. And I could Glade Rush, I could Ice Shard. I would do more damage. I would take double damage, so I'd rather just Ice Shard and double down into Ting Lu. That's my plan. Because that's a lame. It should be able to chunk up some nice damage onto Golden Go. And again, I don't think Golden Go can KO me. Ting Lu's out on the field, minusing all special attack. And he's minus two already. I get that it's super effective, but still. We'll see. It might KO my back's caliber. But yeah, I got to Vassalize right here, right now. So really all I'm hoping for is some big time damage and then have Flutter maybe be able to clean up these two next turn. That's what I'm hoping, because I still have Chi with that Chewy Scarf. Can always do some work. Ting Lu ends up protecting. That's that's a little wild, right? I wasn't expecting him to have that. I was more so expecting like the Assault Vest. You don't really see Ting Lu's protect too much. So how much damage can we do here? How much damage can we do here? Give me a crit onto this golden go. Just let me finish this thing off. We don't. Ugh. Ah. Hurt soul. Make it rain comes out here. Like I said, Fluttermane should be able to eat. Cool. 
Fluttermane's able to soak, but Bax Caliber goes down. This Golden Goat is ripping. This Golden Goat is ripping. So from here, I think we choice to do a Heat Wave again. We have Sun out here. I think we just have to double down. At least this thing doesn't have uh, Assault Vest. We know that. But yeah, I can go into you. We have some nice speed going. I'm going to choice back into the Heat Wave. I see it's my best call. Actually, I mean, Gleam would KO, but how many Pokemon? They still have the full squad. We got to go Gleam into Heat Wave. I got a choice to Heat Wave. It's, it's a must. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. So we're looking for the comeback here. Golden Go really did us dirty there. Um, more so Ting Lu. Ting Lu, which came out at the perfect time. And was eating us up, so... Mm. But Golden Go was just getting some work done. and Kind of tough to play up against it. But yeah, I feel as if we could pick up a KO on the Ting Lu here and the Golden Go, we can probably pull off a victory here. But I don't know if we can. I really don't know if we can. I don't know if we have enough attack power to take out this Ting Lu. It's going to be cutting it close. I know we outspeed. Like, speed's not a problem. He ends up withdrawing. Probably going to go into Corvo here. Are you going to go into Corvo? You do go into Corvo. So Heat Wave can possibly KO that too. The Asim Gleam's going to fly here. Come on, big time damage onto the team though. That's big time. Heat wave, I just need you landing. I just need you landing. Let's go, Chiu. That's big time. That should be double KO. That's a double KO. Like I said, if I can get rid of Team Lu here, I think I have a shot at winning this matchup. So they have Golden Go and one more Pokemon. Golden Go, I know we outspeed. It has no first turn priority. That's big for us. That is big for us. But the last Pokemon, who could this be? T-Tar. I should be able to kill this. Daz and Gleam? You don't have Terra? I should be able to kill this. Even though Protosynthesis wears off, I do have Booster Energy though. But I do not get my Heat Fire damage, which is kind of a little bit of a problem. But we'll see what, how they want to play this one, because we're going straight into a Gleam and straight into another Heat Wave. Come on, man. Yo, Fluttermane, you got that Terra. You got Chiu out on the field. I have a lot of faith in this Pokemon. I mean, Titar could be vested, which is a slight problem, a slight issue, right? I'm choosing to the Heat Wave, which kind of sucks up against these Pokemon, but we're, we're, we're relying on this Fluttermane. Right here, right now. Clutch up, big dog. This is cutting it close. This is cutting it a bit too close. I don't think Heat Wave's KO. And maybe we can get a burn. Burn would be big time. Or Heat Wave just does it. Let's go. Like I said, in the middle of the match, when things look bad for us, if we KO the Ting Lu, we have a shot. And that's exactly what we did. We KO the Ting Lu and won the match. Final match on its way. 2-0. Just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And this match seems kind of tough, but kind of easy at the same time. They have a Lucario without Chen Pao, which I really like. But I'm kind of scared of the Gargle Knuckle and then the Fluttermane and Chi Yu combo. It's always strong. We just ripped it in ripped with it in match number two but uh how should we play this one i feel like we have to bring in a pokemon to counter the gargle knuckle so a pokemon like gyarados could be pretty good same thing with a pokemon like you i don't mind iron hands but how should i play this one we just have a lot of versatility with the iron hands especially with the move set we do have fire tire which is really good so i kind of want to just lead you kind of just want to get straight after it with you so i'm going to end up leading that pokemon um I could lead Chiyu. I kind of like Chiyu on its own. Just being able to outspeed. So I'm going to do that. Bring Fluttermane. And do I bring Gyarados or do I bring in Baxcalibur? Huh. I think I'm going to bring in... Oh, I like Baxcalibur, but at the same time, I really like Gyarados. I'm going to go Baxcalibur. I'm, I'm going to say it. I like my Baxcali. I like this. I like my big dragon, dude. He's the man. The Godzilla Ice Dragon. Absolute dog. Especially with Vest. I think it could be able to soak up a shot if we needed to. Except for, like, obviously, like, a Fluttermane shot. It actually might be able to with the vest. It has a lot of HP. It's, like, 214 HP. Really like it. But he's going to end up leading these two. We're going to end up leading these two. Okay. Um, yeah, he, he's going to be our play. I'm kind of scared of Salt here. Just a tad bit. And do I Terrasalize here? Probably not, right? I don't see him really having any crazy moves. I'm going to say screw it, go Drain Punch here. I'm not really worried about him going for a Ghost Terra. And I'm just going to Heat Wave this slot. So Heat Wave's going to come out here. It's going to bring that thing down to Sash. It's good to know we outspeed him too. Give me a burn on somebody. 
Burn on Lucario so I don't have to worry about next turn. Burn on Lucario. We do not get it. And now it close combats me and he KOs me. Okay, I, I see ya. I see ya. So he's probably Sulk here in my, uh, my Iron Hands here. We are going to Dream Punch and get some damage off here. And out. Out comes the Salt Cure, correct? Yeah, so we Salt Cure. She's definitely going to protect that turn and look for some leftovers HP. Because if I had to guess, this thing's leftovers. I'm being cured by Salt. Kind of hurts the soul. Yep, there's leftovers. So I don't really have to worry about... Actually, I can bring out Ice Shard. I can bring out Ice Shard back, see? For first turn priority. Um, I wish I had, like... I wish I had... What's it called? Which would be big. They're both weak to... Uh, they're both weak to... Bullet punch because I think that's what he has. So I might want to just thrash slide his back here. I mean, obviously, I'm going to go for the drain punch. Actually, I'll go for the, the thunder punch more so than the drain punch because if you thrash slide gargle, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. I could thrash slide you in the water, which I think I'm going to do. I'm just ice shard this thing down. That's going to be my play. I don't want to take too much damage from this uh from this bullet punch if it's coming in here. I feel like I'm going to need backsy. So I Thunder Punch just in case he wants to Thrash Slide to Gargle Knackle. I don't think he's going to. I think he just protects it. But I don't want to Drain Punch and like make him think that I'm just going for Drain Punches in that slot so we can Thrash Slide. He ends up just detecting. Double Protect here? Yep, Double Protect. So he ends up Double Protecting. Kind of sees what we're doing. Um, Really solid Terror from us though. And from now, now I'm just going to Drain Punch instead of Thunder Punch. Now I'm going to Drain Punch because I don't see him Terrastalizing the Ghost. I really don't see that happening. It'd be a pain if he does. It would be a pain if he does. Because Sulfur can rip into me. It's no bueno. There's no bueno. But Drain Punch gets some HP back and we're just going to Ice Shard on top of that. Yeah, that's it. We probably should have just went into like a different move, to be honest. We probably should have uh, water, uh, Terra Blast to Gargle Knackle down. Because yeah, he's gonna get off a shot anyway. So there's really no point in doing that. Now we just Ice Shard for the KO. He didn't Terrasalize, which is good, so we can Drain Punch and finish this thing off. And maybe just swap our Iron Hands out, just so we're not being Salt Cured anymore. Because it is very annoying. But Drain Punch finishes that Pokemon off, cool. So I don't have to worry about that for the rest of the game. I do not have to worry about it. So we still have Fluttermane in the back end, full HP. I do like that. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that my Chiyu is gone. Hurts the soul because Chiyu is that dog. <laughs> but I, I, I'll take that. I'll take I'll take the two for one. I'll take the two for one. They're going to throw out their final two Pokemon. Let's see who they are. They still have Terra. They're going to bring out Chiyu of their own. Ooh, Chiyu scary. And Fluttermane. Chiyu and Fluttermane it is. Okay, so we have a Water Terra. Uh, psh, 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 psh. Let me play this one. I think we just double down into this little thing. Glaive rush it, right? Did we glaive rush it? I could terrible. Someone's Terrasalize. I'm going straight into this Pokemon. I think if we get rid of Chi, our Fluttermane can potentially just 1v1 this thing. Especially because we are booster energy. So I'm going right after his Chi. Fluttermane's going to Terrasalize here. Probably straight fairy. Yeah, he's going to look to get rid of my Iron Hands. They probably do get rid of my Iron Hands, but I'm hoping this glaive rush can just rip into Chi and take it out. The Gleam's gonna fly here. You might be able to soak that up, Iron Hands. The first one. You don't. Oh no. The Fluttermane to you combo gets us back. I'm dead to this. Unless we dodge. Unless we dodge. Unless we dodge. No, we're dead. Yeah, we died in that. Wow, dude. Chiyu still does a ridiculous amount of damage to a Water Terror Pokemon with Assault Vest, too. With the best. But yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be it. Unless we outspeed. I mean, I have Booster Energy. I have booster energy. We can win this game if we outspeed KO Chiyu here and then survive a shot. That's definitely a possibility, but if they were smart, they would just protect Chiyu and let Fluttermane do the work. So we'll see. We shall see. Actually, it's not super effective. Never mind. I lied. I lied. We're not winning this match, but still. I do outspeed. It's going to do a decent amount of damage, but we lose this one all day long. All day long. Shadow Ball comes out there. See you later. Wow, so Fluttermane Chiyu comes in clutch for us in match number two, and then it does us dirty in match number three. Two and one, we still grabbed you guys a winning record.
What a set of matches for today's video. Like I said, 2-1, a awesome winning record. We got Chi Yu out there, Fluttermane obviously always doing work, but we also got to use Bax Caliber, Iron Hands, and Sableye in today's video. The only Pokemon that we didn't use was Gyarados, but we showcased it on the channel plenty of times, so it's nothing crazy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.